I think that one of the most difficult aspects of coming to this country was that there was no welcome party. Um, there wasn't a road in and so a lot of what you do as an immigrant is really the learning and you become an observer and maybe even just part of the wallpaper so to speak you don't exist you don't have a voice and part of the becoming an American means to learn the way surviving a war civil distress um, being held by shotgun uh, crossing borders, uh, they're not easy experiences to deal with. But in the meantime, you are grateful to be alive. And so your life becomes even more meaningful every moment that you become freer, so to speak. When I go through a challenging situation, I can lean into gratefulness to help me shift my mood look at options differently. You know, there are times that there may be challenges with the relationship at work. And if I think, wow, I'm lucky to be working. I'm lucky to have this opportunity to do the work I love. It shifts that, oh, if this little thing isn't working, that's okay, because there's a bigger picture here. And uh, I can lean into gratefulness. It's like a friend that I have sitting next to me. If I look over, it'll always be there. I come to my place of grateful gratefulness because I understand pain and loss. So it's in my understanding pain that I know that, oh my God, things can get better. Uh, or because of the pain and what is possible that it, my, my being in peace right now, that it doesn't have to be like this, that's what helps me to hold on to my gratefulness. So when I, when I am being grateful and I'm able to integrate my, this, this experience of gratitude in my life, it really impacts the world around me in the way that I interact with others. So in my view, gratitude and empathy and compassion are deeply intertwined. I would describe gratefulness as my ability to return to the moment and actually see something new is possible in that moment. So it's a way to return to my breath, remember I'm alive, uh, that it's a gift to be alive in any given moment and to kind of get refocused with whatever's happening. So for me, singing is a practice because it gives me the ability to use my voice um, to sing out pain, to sing out love, to sing out joy, to sing out whatever I'm feeling in the moment and use that as a form of meditation and to really just feel and be and welcome whatever comes. Singing is that essence of life and I am grateful to be able to use my voice in that way to just be. I think the real gift of a handicap, I don't know a better disease, is that you, you come up, you come to a place where you know you can't do something. And if you hold on there, something emerges. There's always another way to go, always. I would say that there is a gift something to be grateful for in every disability because it shows you more about life. It really opens you more to life in some way.